Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad lesson. Friends, I'm going to show you something cool you can do with the SVG import and export. So let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to get to Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google. We're going to be in our designs and we are going to create a new 3D design. Today I'm going to be designing for 3D printing. This would also work for laser cutting. I'm going to start, of course, by naming it. It is going to be heart and it's going to be a charm. The steps are pretty simple. We are going to bring out this awesome heart. You can see when this heart comes out, it has zero properties you can adjust, but we are going to use a technique to give it cool properties. Here's how it works. I'm going to leave the size the same. I'm going to hit export and I'm going to export it as an SVG. It's called heart charm. It's in my downloads. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to click on this design and I'm going to hit delete. I'm going to go back to import and I'm going to choose that same file. There is my heart charm. I only want the art. I don't want the art board. I'm going to keep the measurements and I'm going to hit import. It takes a moment to arrive and as you can see, it doesn't look any different, but watch this. If you click on it and you switch to outer line, bingo, you have got that edge. If you want it to be smoother, you can simply increase the quality. It takes a moment for it to do its little bit of math, but bingo. Right now it's got sharp corners. If you switch to round, give it a moment and you can actually see how it looks with those as well. I'm going to click on line width and I'm going to change it to three. I like that, but I want to make it a little smaller. I am going to do alt shift and I'm just going to shrink it a little. And then I want to make it two millimeters thick. That's my choice for making a charm. This is going to print super fast. Now I'm going to quickly add a little hook so we can attach our charm. I'm going to do that with the tube. When you bring out the tube, the first thing I recommend is increasing the sides. That way it's more smooth. I think I'm going to use a radius of four right here. And I'm going to use a wall thickness of two and press enter. That looks pretty good. I'm going to pick where I want to put it. And once again, I'm going to change that height so it matches. If I hit a two and press enter, that actually looks a little bit big. I'm going to choose three and I'm going to switch this to 1.5 and see if I like that. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to take those two shapes, making sure I've got them right where I want them and I'm going to group them. Let's do F to fit view so we're lined up on it. And friends, at that point, it is ready for 3D printing or laser cutting. Now today I'm going to 3D print it, so that means I hit export, and we're going to export the STL. I'm going to keep the name Heart Charm. I am going to put it in my 3D modeling folder, and bang, it's ready to send to the printer. I'm going to slice our design with Kira. I do need to switch to my printer. I am using the A10T. Give that a second to actually click in. Notice it changes the build area. This is smaller than my A8. And then of course we need to find the file. Remember I put it in my 3D modeling. After a moment, it will appear up here at the top. There is my heart charm. Now this printer can print three colors, red, yellow, or blue. I'm gonna choose blue. I'm using 0.3 layers, 1.2 millimeter walls, 0.8 for the top bottom, 30% infill, 205 and 60 are my temperatures and then down here we have skirt and there will be six lines the reason i use six lines is as i purge the other colors i found that works the most friends i have it connected via usb so all we have to do is hit print and in about one minute they say we will have a finished product we will see about that
Alrighty, friends, so moment of truth. Let's pop that little guy off there. I will let you know I gave this a moment to cool. If you peel something off this small, you will likely bend it if you don't give it a moment. But my friends, almost instant heart charm. How cool is that? All right, everybody, so I am totally pleased with those results. I do want to give you a bit of a challenge. Don't forget, I have a website, hlmodtech.com. It has a lot of Tinkercad lessons you can check out, also a suite built-in messaging tool you can click that button add your question comment or suggestion and reach me almost instantly what i want to show you real quick though is the shape generator catalog when you launch this it takes you to a google jamboard if you click right here you can make a copy so it is stored in your google drive and you can always check it out so friends the challenge is for you to find other amazing shapes that you could use this same skill with there are two pages of designs. Have fun, explore, see what you can come up with. I will also let you know that if you play with Tinkercad Scribble, you can make your own shape there and then turn it into an awesome charm or maybe a cookie cutter or maybe a fun design you wanna use on your laser cutter. Of course, friends, if you do make something awesome, I would love to hear about it. I also want to remind your friends, don't forget the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we have more than 600 members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, you totally make my day if you take time to leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.